Hey folks, so this is the introduction to ellipses and I'm going to be filling out the bits and pieces of the ellipse. Notice that I have a horizontal ellipse as well as a vertical ellipse. I'm only going to be labeling the horizontal one, although both ellipses have the exact same things on each of them. So starting out, the very first thing that we have is the center of the ellipse. This is not such a big surprise since um, our circle had a center. Um, our parabola did not have a center, but it did have the vertex, but it was both, all of those have that important coordinate of HK. The second thing I'd like to point out is that we have the major axis, just like the word axis implies this is a line. It is not a coordinate, it's a line. And the major axis is the line that cuts my ellipse in half. And notice there's two lines that cut the ellipse in half. One of them is long, hence this is the reason that this one's called the major axis. I also have the line that cuts um, another axis, or excuse me, an, I have an axis that cuts the ellipse in half, but it's shorter than the major axis is, and this guy is going to be called the minor axis. Next, I have the vertex. I have two of these. Notice I've got one here and I have one over here. These are the ends of the major axis, but they're also called vertices. The end of the minor axis is called exactly that, the end of the minor axis. And then I have two focus points. My focus points are on the inside of the ellipse. Next, I'd like to point out that I have something called uh, distance A. Notice that this is the distance from the center to the vertex. Distance A is center to vertex. And then I have distance B. Distance B is from center to end of the minor axis. And then lastly, I have distance C. Distance C is from center to focus. I actually have those three statements down below if you'd like to scroll down just a bit. The three starred statements there. Distance A deals with my vertices, excuse me. So the vertices are always going to be A away from the center. The endpoints of the minor axis are always going to be B away from the center. And then thirdly, my foci are always going to be C away from the center. Let's go back and take a look at those equations that I've given you. Notice that the numerators of both equations are identical to each other. What's different is the denominators. Now remember that A was associated with the major axis, so A is always going to be a longer distance than B is. So what I'm essentially looking at is where is my larger denominator? Notice that for the first equation, my larger denominator is under the x's. For my other equation, my larger denominator is under the y's. And what you have is when the larger denominator is under the y's, I end up with a vertical ellipse, like you see above. And when my larger denominator is under the x's, I have a horizontal ellipse. I've given you two small statements here. One of them is that a is always greater than b. I've already mentioned that. And then the second statement is a squared minus b squared is equal to c squared. This little equation is basically only used when I need to use the focus points. I typically call this equation the little dude. 